established in 1999, V Groups began its journey as a specialized service provider in the Occupational Health Services (OHC) sector, operating in the South India region with a base in Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh. In 2005, the company expanded its offerings to include equipment services, demonstrating a commitment to adaptability and growth. Over the years, V Groups further diversified its portfolio, introducing equipment rentals and comprehensive maintenance services, including AMC, Annual Maintenance Contract, and CMC, Comprehensive Maintenance Contract, for machines. With a pan-India presence and a global footprint in Dubai and the United Kingdom, V Groups has positioned itself as a versatile and reliable player in the equipment services industry. Oropush Virus Disease Introduction Welcome to our channel Enaga Health. In this video, we'll dive deep into Oropush Virus Disease, a tropical virus that has affected many regions, particularly in South America. We'll explore its discovery, how it spreads, the countries most affected the symptoms it causes, and the available methods for prevention and treatment. What is Oropush virus disease? Oropush virus, O-R-O-V, is a mosquito-borne disease that belongs to the Othobanya virus genus in the Parabanya viridae family. It is primarily transmitted to humans through bites from infected midges, Culicoids parensis, and sometimes mosquitoes, Culex species. Since it is a zoonotic disease, it also affects animals but can jump to humans, causing febrile illness. It is often confused with diseases like dengue due to the similarity of symptoms. Discovery of Oropush Virus The Oropush virus was first isolated and identified in 1955 by Dr. Harman Trapido and colleagues in the Brazilian Amazon region. It was named after the Oropush River in Trinidad where the first human cases were identified. Epidemiology of Oropush Virus Disease The Oropush virus is endemic to certain tropical regions, particularly in South and Central America. It has caused numerous outbreaks over the decades, and hundreds of thousands of cases have been documented. Here's a breakdown of how it affects different countries. Brazil this country has seen the largest number of cases, with major outbreaks occurring in the Amazon basin. Peru, the virus has been reported in various cities, particularly in the Amazon region. Panama, isolated outbreaks have occurred in rural areas. Trinidad and Tobago, this Caribbean nation was one of the first locations where the virus was identified. Transmission the virus is primarily transmitted through the bite of infected midges, Culicoids paraensis, but mosquitoes of the Culex genus can also be vectors. Oropush fever is often seen in urban areas after the virus jumps from animals, such as sloths, to humans. Symptoms of Oropush virus disease The incubation period, time from exposure to the onset of symptoms, is generally 4 to 8 days. Common symptoms include 1. Fever, sudden high fever, lasting 3 to 5 days. 2. Headache, severe, often described as a throbbing pain. 3. Muscle and joint pain, intense muscle aches and joint discomfort. 4. Nausea and vomiting, digestive issues can occur, although less common. 5. Photophobia, sensitivity to light. Six. Dizziness and fatigue, extreme tiredness and lack of energy. 7. Skin rash. Some individuals develop a maculopapular rash. Symptoms are usually self-limited, but complications like meningitis or encephalitis, brain inflammation, can occur in rare cases. Countries affected by Oropush virus. Oropush virus disease has been documented in several countries across Central and South America, with varying levels of prevalence. Brazil, frequent outbreaks, especially in northern regions like the Amazon basin. Peru, multiple cases in rural and urban areas, particularly near the Amazon River. Trinidad and Tobago, the virus was first identified here, and small outbreaks still occur. Panama, 
sporadic cases have been reported, mostly in rural settings. Other countries, reports exist in Venezuela, Ecuador, and Suriname. In total, over 5 lakh cases have been estimated since its discovery. Prevention of Oropush Virus Disease Since the Oropush virus is primarily transmitted through midges and mosquitoes, prevention strategies focus on minimizing contact with these vectors. 1. Insect Repellents Use insect repellents containing DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus. 2. Protective Clothing Wear long-sleeved shirts and long pants, especially during the peak biting hours of midges, late afternoon and evening. 3. Insecticide-treated nets. Use insecticide-treated bed nets, particularly in endemic areas. 4. Environmental control. Reduce breeding sites for mosquitoes by eliminating standing water around homes. In urban areas. Government-led fumigation efforts can help control the insect population. 5. Avoiding outbreak zones. During outbreaks, avoid traveling to regions where Oropush virus transmission is active. Treatment of Oropush virus disease. There is no specific antiviral treatment for Oropush virus disease. Management is typically supportive and focuses on alleviating symptoms. 1. Fever and pain relief. Over-the-counter medications like acetaminophen or paracetamol can reduce fever and pain. 2. Hydration. Drink plenty of fluids to prevent dehydration, especially in cases with vomiting. 3. Rest. Proper rest is essential to aid recovery. 4. Hospitalization. In severe cases, such as when complications like meningitis or encephalitis develop, Hospitalization may be required for supportive care, including intravenous fluids and, in extreme cases, respiratory support. Most people recover within a week, but fatigue may persist for some time after other symptoms resolve. Conclusion Orapush virus is a significant public health concern in tropical regions, particularly in South America. While its symptoms can be uncomfortable and sometimes severe, most people recover fully. Preventive measures such as avoiding insect bites and controlling mosquito populations are essential in reducing the spread of the disease. As research continues, hopefully, new treatments and vaccines will emerge to combat this virus more effectively. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more informative content. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to watch our content on, groups. Your support means the world to us, and we are thrilled to have you as part of our community. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing ensures that you stay updated with our latest videos, updates, and exciting content. By subscribing, you become an integral part of our growing community, and your support inspires us to create more engaging and valuable content for you. Thank you for being a part of the Groups family. We look forward to bringing you more entertaining and informative content in the future. If you have any suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment below. Once again, thank you for your support, and we can't wait to share more exciting moments with you on, groups.